Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be comparing two numbers. And we're going to find which number is greater. One of the numbers is 2, the other number is 1.001 to the power 1000. So that looks like a small number compared to 2 obviously uh, when you look at the bases only, but then when we raise it to a thousandth power obviously the number is going to get larger because we have a base that is greater than 1. And as you know with numbers like 3 halves, or you know five fourths. If you raise them to powers that are uh, positive integers, then the number gets larger and larger. So we're going to talk about a couple of things. First of all, I want to write my decimal number as a fraction. Let's go ahead and do that first. So one point zero zero one to the power one thousand can be written as one plus zero point zero zero one. In other words, we can write this as 1 plus 1 thousandth, and then that is raised to the power 1,000. Now, this reminds me 1 plus 1 over n to the power n. Doesn't that remind you the same thing? Wow, that's great. So let's go ahead and use binomial theorem. Let's use, oops, let's use the binomial theorem. Now the binomial theorem, as you know, deals with expressions like a plus b to the power n. And in our case, I'm going to be dealing uh, with a positive integer n. So I can safely say that this is equivalent to n choose 0, a to the power n, plus n choose 1, a to the power n minus 1 times b, dot, dot, dot. So powers of a basically are going to go down, and the powers of b are just going to go up, and the, the last term is going to have the highest power of b, which is b to the power n, and we're not going to have any a at the end, because it's going to be a to the power 0. So this is the binomial theorem, which is super duper powerful. Let's go ahead and use that for our case. So I have 1 plus 1 over 1000, and I'm going to raise it to the power 1000. So n is going to be 1000 in this case, and a is going to be 1, and b is going to be 1000th. So the first term is going to be 1000 choose 0 and we're going to multiply that by 1 to the power 1000 but you don't really need to write powers of 1 so we can totally ignore and just focus on powers of b. The second term is going to be 1000 choose 1 and then we're going to multiply this by b to the power 999 right so b is going to be um, actually that's not the case it's going to be 1 to the power of 999 times b, so it's just going to be first power. So it's going to be like first power. And then we're going to have the second power, so on and so forth, right? This is just going to continue. At the end, we're just going to have 1,000 choose 1,000. Let's, let's write it here. Since that's a really long expression, it's not going to fit there. And let's just put it here. Now we have uh, the last coefficient is, remember, n choose n, multiply by b, which is 1,000th, to the power n. So that's going to be like 1,000th to the power 1,000. Okay, great. So it's going to be uh, like a really small number. Since it's multiplied by 1, the last term is super duper small. Now, how does this help us compare this number to 2? You're going to see in a little bit, this is really interesting, uh, you know, because the binomial theorem helps us a great deal. I don't know if there's another way to approach this problem, another method. That's why I'm only presenting one method here. One method here, not one method. Okay, 1000 choose 0 is 1 because n choose 0 is always 1. 1000 choose 1 is 1000, but that is multiplied by 1 over 1000. So they're going to cancel out and that's going to leave us with 1. So 1 plus 1 over 1000 to the power 1000 is going to be 1 plus 1 plus, now this term is going to be 1000 choose 2, so 1000 times 999 divided by 2 factorial, multiply by 1 over 1000 squared. Obviously one of these is going to cancel out, and we're going to end up with 999 divided by 2000, plus some other terms. And at the end, we're going to have 1 over 1000 to the power 1000 as I said earlier this is a very very small number but guess what 
These terms are all positive. Why? Because there's a plus sign here, everything is positive. So now, from our number, we're going to get 1 over 1000 to the power 1000 is going to equal 2 plus 999 divided by 2000, dot, 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 lots of terms that are all positive, but notice that the numbers are going to get smaller and smaller and smaller, you know, and this number is about one half, but uh, the, the terms are going to get smaller. But since that we're always adding positive terms, this sum is going to be greater than 2 because all these terms are all positive. Therefore, we can safely say that 1 plus 1 over 1000 to the power 1000 by the binomial theorem is greater than 2. And we were trying to compare those and we were trying to find the greater number and it turns out our decimal raised to the power 1000 is going to be the greater number. Awesome. Great. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this means. Uh, let me give you actually a numerical value for this one which is kind of like an approximation, but you can definitely use a calculator for this. And this is going to be about 2.717. If you've done some pre-calculus or calculus, you should definitely know this number. That should be familiar to you. And this is very, very close to what's called Euler's number. Euler's number is E and lowercase e. And now what happens if our number gets super duper large without bound? And then now we're talking about a limit as approaches and approaches infinity of 1 plus 1 over n to the power n. And that is going to be E, which is Euler's number. Euler's number is super duper interesting. It has a lot of interesting properties. You can write it in so many different ways. But one way to write it is you can write it as 1 plus 1 plus 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial plus 1 over 4 factorial. Uh, dot, dot, dot. This is going to be an infinite series obviously and this brings us to the end of this video well thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you tomorrow with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye